spit and great gouts of fire he was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you Clive. up? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! No, oh, she was awake. Right. <laughs> Go to her, you fool. Right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? <laughs> so? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. <laughs> they even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. <laughs> well, here I am. I'm so sure drink it in, my Cooper. It's best to that they live deep in the forest, and that they never reveal themselves to humans. Hmm. He knows his stuff, but what he doesn't know is that Nectar the Bomb is no ordinary Moogle, Clive. Cooper. <laughs> you understand Moogle tongue, Cooper? Cooper, sorry. So it would seem. <laughs> Finally, Kupo. I've been trying to talk to these people ever since the winds carried me here, but none of them understand a word I say. That sounds painful. I've been banging my pom pom against a brick wall, <laughs> but now you'll hear my pom pom safe at last. You can hear me. You can actually hear me. Okay. It's our little secret, Kupo. Okay. Just... She's awake. It's true then. It really is you. It is. Clive. You're alive. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Thaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I have no idea. Forgive me. How did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. Took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Hmm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield or... See my countrywomen slaughtered. How did she get Shiva? And they call us dominant. <clears throat> or she always Shiva. What? What happened, Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? <coughs> it was me. I killed Joshua. No. 
That's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. Not on purpose. Oh. It's the truth. I changed into him again. Not long ago. The second icon of fire. The one responsible. <laughs> Glyph. When I think back to that night. Man, he spoke to me. What did he say? What did he say? Sarsis. We found we you. We have found you. Okay. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Yep. Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive, and not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady? Ready. Three reeds. Rising waters transform once fertile farmland into a noisome morass, rendering it nigh uninhabitable to all but leeches and lizards. This is uninhabitable. Area. It's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either? No. Nope. I couldn't. Brand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. I was afraid. Afraid to go back. It's not exactly like you want to. <laughs> but I'm here 
fucking hell. Thanks to you. We should press on. Homecoming. God, this place looks incredible. Hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone oh. asks. Okay, straight ahead. What a bird wants. I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect. Here, you couldn't give me an iron, could you? Typical, a bloody bearer. Just when I thought my luck had changed. Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here. You understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. And I was running late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, if I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Sure. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. <laughs> Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. Some rest. Are you the stable master? I was asked to deliver this to you. Sealed crate. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Sounds about right. I'll have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. <laughs> Crammed with him, if I know him. Gizal greens. Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. <laughs> Still. I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. What a bird wants. Excuse me, would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. <laughs> For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rosaria. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. Mm -hmm. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the malicious way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me.
Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? The Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Maybe. <laughs> Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. All right, hang on a second. Or it would be if the bridge had collapsed. What a blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it, but he went out on another job, and he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative didn't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. Your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. <laughs> His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you. And that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. Okay. So I'm looking for Bernard. To the marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. <clears throat> Where he goes to East, this is the gate. And that must be the ladder. Get down here so quick. Oh. I don't care what your orders are, Bradley. Ah, get away from me! What was that? It came oh. from under the bridge. Come on. Yeah. Careful. There he is. Hold on, we're coming. Thank Bernard? you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. <laughs> if you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Oh, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, eh? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I said I'd take a look at it, but I think it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Oh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? 
Me and him, we go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. <laughs> we will. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed. You ain't pulled that sword from its scabbard. All right. Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the Founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. Yeah, they're fine. It's the Blight's <laughs> fault. They'd nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. He can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted. Nice. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Lagging of imperial gold, perhaps. It tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes, there were more of them when we were young, far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? Have I? Either to the legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late, so the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. Hmm. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Ah, Thea! Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, he weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. So. And we'll see it at an Abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you. 
and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. I'm trying to understand the whole bearer thing. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you. We came to offer a donation. From Martha. I see. Please, follow me. I... I don't want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. Bears? The light. We fight. Mm. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can for the time they have left. Oh. The curse has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they Jeez. are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Ah, their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that Two more have succumbed. <sighs> we should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. <laughs> Good on it. Ah, you're back. 
Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift. So they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. Use profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours... Aye. They're my property. At least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You've got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. The seal. You accept the slumbering trick you will always be welcome here. Or seal. I missed the last word. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Mm -hmm. Basically, long live the king now. <laughs> Sid, what are you doing here? Ah, oh, Clive, you're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Jeez. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> you ago, back in the day. She was a slave to a fate, just like you. Benedicta. I wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. Savior. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures, but instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But 
Clive. I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Except that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? See it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else, but at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. And Jill, I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. <laughs> yes. I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. Ta-ra then. Holding on. Oh, new quest. Oh, a few. You. You're Clive Rossfield. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's me, Hannah. Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Yeah. you you haven't changed at all the lord marquis and jill too it's so good to see you both again <gasps> it's good to see you too lady hannah <gasps> she's still alive simply must come back to the house. I haven't much Ooh. to offer, but what is mine is yours. I'm surprised the Queen didn't offer. We should be delighted. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, quite young. wasn't easy, but we survived and... And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. Do you think you will stay here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing. Does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians by order of the Duchess. Mm. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? 
Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Yes, no. You haven't heard then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. My poor child, you look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. years without the faintest glimmer of hope it was only Joshua that kept me going I swore that I would avenge his death that I would kill his killer that was the only thing that gave my life any meaning If it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. Remember that night on the balcony when we looked up at the moon? I said a prayer to Metia, and that prayer was answered. <clears throat> you came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. <clears throat> we should get some rest. Thank you, Lady Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. <laughs> How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Damn. Before Elwyn became Archduke, Looking our good. families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. 
These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. Nice. If we follow the road to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. To Phoenix Gate, where it all began. You! Those are Elwins! By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. Bears. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to East Paul. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province Ooh. of San Vrek. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right. Lord Rosfield, bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. But still, I would <coughs> ask a favor of you. A small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service. Only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's as fine a man 
as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Hmm. This finer man is my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. Not it. He's not here. Hmm. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Good day, Milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'd often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream, he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceregan stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Hmm. Well now, unfamiliar places. <clears throat> what brings you to East Paul, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, mm. that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. They <laughs> weren't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions. Jesus. The levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half our harvest. <sighs> oh, listen to me. Telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer, either. Though I doubt he'd have gone far. He comes here every day. Almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. Oh, hold on a mo. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper might know where your bearer is. He's taken the old boy under his wing, so to speak. You should go and have a word with him. He'll be in the stables. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper. Thank you. We will. Sorry, Jill, for making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. hell's he got to excuse me but is something the matter it's this bearer i've been minding i take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears he's not in his usual spot by the well nor anywhere else in the village you must be patrick i am but and this bearer you're looking for He's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. Ah, 
So that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on a bound to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him, and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here, we'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Hmm. someone over there it might be him we should hurry uh -oh. company we can't lead them to the old man they need to die agreed Are you all right, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Your Grace, you came for me. I waited for you so long, but you finally came. I'm not who you think. Clive. <sighs> yes. Pray forgive my long delay. Nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition, one which may take some time. Could you <coughs> wait for me? in the East Pool. Until my journey is complete, I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was his one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But I'm 
unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad, I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damn near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. The blight is leaching the ether from the soil. And when the last Jeez. drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants, no animals, no life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. It's like a bloody eel. What is this place, anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The Apollo tree is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix.
Are you sure about this? Never more. Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. Could this place really be a fallen ruin? You could hardly call it a ruin. It's perfect. Like it was built yesterday. Have you ever seen anything like this? Oh. Damn. Seems the feeling's mutual. done. What are these creatures? And why do they keep attacking us? Oh. They're probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. Jill, look. Mm -hmm. Is that some kind of mural? It's worth a closer look, whatever it is.
hell? All right then. in it how old do you suppose this is a thousand years more I don't know I've never seen anything like it before who is that in the middle do you think some sort of God if <clears throat> You're him. The second dominant of fire. Who are you? Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. Joshua died. I killed him. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. Hmm. I feared the Bai. Accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? 
I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. Show me who you truly are. Oh, okay. circle. I keep pressing circle to try and dodge. Like what I see. You'd have me learn by example. Yeah. Teach him. Not this time. It's like what um Sid and Benedicta can do. Escape, eh? It's all right. 
I'm done running from you. Together. I prefer that look. I like that look. Show yourself. But this one's great. It's not even. You're free, Tony, you're free. Vanquished. That was cool. Clive, are you all right? Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. No more chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should go.
Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me. Ifrit. Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed. But not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers together. I want to learn the truth too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth. Even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. Ooh. And yet... They're what brought us back together. Thank you, Jill. <clears throat> if he is here, then... The disturbance I felt at the care must have been... Confounding. The hour is later than I thought. What do you know, Joshua? Castle does bulk. delivered who, who delivered the coffer said he said sit paid him <laughs> I let you run amok with the rest of your rats and this is how you repay me I'll find out where he is Crush him, flay him, rip out his heart, him and all his filthy brood, <laughs> and send every last one of them to out. No! Yes, yes, my lord.
Is it a head? I mean, I don't think it, I don't want to think it was a head, but the meaning of life. Um, yeah, I don't want to think it was a head because Sid still liked her. And I don't know if he hated her enough to do that. Clive has gained control of the Icon Ifrit, allowing access to new Iconic abilities such as Ignition. Cool. Nice. So, what next? We returned to Eastpool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again. About Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid, too. All right. We should arrange an introduction, then. You right, Toggle? Toggle? What is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. Oh no. Don't tell me. No, 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 no. Right. <sighs> Knew it. What happened here? Imperials! You'll pay for this! Ah, we've got a live one! What are you doing here? Answer me! Good. Sick of trouble! I just hope, um... <laughs> Lady Hannah and the Mayor are still alive. sheltered them by Empress Annabella's command of course mother <laughs> all right my mother ordered this why Clyde I know you wait No. I'm sorry, Lady Anna. Bastards! You deserve so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. She deserves so much better. Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pool was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The old father embraced them. When the other nations spat on them as slaves, the way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. 
Gav. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But I can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Oh, and there's the mayor. Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Lord Kuka has a message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. Ha, ha, ha. 